Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be speaking about food waste. So to kick things off, I want to tell a short story. Imagine this. You're in the grocery store. In one hand, you have a bag of oranges. In the other, a bunch of bananas. You're standing there, trying to figure out which one you want more. You could get the oranges, which would be an okay choice. But you really want those bananas. So you get both. A week later, you're staring at the remnants, a few leftover over-ripened bananas and a couple oranges, both you no longer want to eat. With another trip to the grocery store scheduled, you just toss the leftovers in the trash. You think to yourself, what harm could this cause? This is just one example of a growing epidemic called food waste. Food waste is the general term for any food which is discarded or lost while uneaten. These losses can occur at several stages within the food making process, including production, retailing, consumption, and processing. Although food waste is present across the entire life of food production, I'm going to focus more on the retail and consumption side, which in developed countries like Canada and the US represent the majority of food waste. Here in Canada, an average family will discard nearly one in four food purchases, or approximately 275 kilos of food annually, worth all around $600. But the problem goes beyond that. Food waste also results in increased methane emissions from landfills. It results in an increased demand of resources, such as farmland, packaging, fuel, and water. But looking at the problem of food waste on a more global view, view our wastefulness of food here in contributes to an inability for other areas to meet their food needs. In fact, if the food waste in North America and Europe were reduced by just 25%, there would be enough food to lift the 1 billion hungry people around the world out of malnourishment. So what can we do? The first thing we can do is participate in local composting programs. Composting reduces the amount of food which goes to landfills as well as replenishes soil. Next, we can change our buying habits. Instead of making large grocery runs where it is hard to predict what can be consumed before it spoils, make smaller trips more frequently. This would allow you to better predict what can be consumed, reducing waste, while also improving the freshness of food. Lastly is being proactive. Things like planning meals ahead, looking into preservation techniques, and alternative uses for leftover food will help reduce food waste as well. By doing, by becoming aware of the amount of food that we are wasting, we can take steps to change it. When done together, our small household changes can truly have a global impact. Thank you.